Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And in today's video, this is like a kind of a special video. Sometimes I talk about AI and cloud security. And sometimes I just want to give you some straightforward career advice, you know, when it comes to cyber security. Now, before we start, I want to give you a brief introduction about myself. I've been in cyber security for over 21 years now. I've been like across the globe, like in the Middle East. Now I'm currently based out of London. I've won like awards and most of the things in cyber security are like being a CISO, being a consultant, being like a cyber security, cloud security, most of the stuff I have done. Okay. So based on this, based on my like 20 years of experience, I want to give you some just six pieces of advice, uh, six pieces of advice based on my own experience in cyber security. And I hope they help you out. I hope they help you out in your career, uh, you know, based on what I have learned and i hope you can apply this in your career also and before we move ahead please do like and subscribe to this channel that will really help the channel to grow and reach more people so the first piece of advice i want to give you if you're a newcomer in cyber security or even if you have been in cyber security for a few years which is that certifications matter but not that much please certifications people go to two extremes one is some people they completely disregard certifications cyber security the cissp the CSAM, CEH, whatever, CompTIA, they just say these are papers based certifications. They have no value whatsoever, right? And some people, they do the other thing. They become like certification factory. One after the other, they keep adding certification upon certification, right? So this is where you need to strike the middle ground. If you want to be successful, certifications are important. They give you a baseline of knowledge, but hardcore practical experience is more important, right? So getting a CISSP or a CCSP, they will tell the manager that you've done the necessary baseline of knowledge. You've done the work to get that baseline of knowledge, but the CISSP or the CCSP is no substitute for experience. You need to have practical experience. So if you're starting out in your career, please don't go crazy getting 10 certifications. You'll only like uh, really spend, waste your money. Do one or two and then focus on getting experience through internship, to volunteering, Whatever you can do to get hardcore experience, do that, right? And and that same applies to your company also. So you can get as many ISO certifications or RPCS certifications, but no, those are just baselines. And you need to do more to make sure your company is protected. No certification in the world is going to prepare you for a DDoS attack or a ransomware attack or a malware or a fraud. When that happens, everybody is running around. Your certification will not help you at that time. Remember that, right? So that's the first one. Uh, the second piece of advice I would give you is that incidents will happen. No matter what you do, no matter how many controls you have, some way cyber security incidents will happen. Okay. It doesn't matter how many playbooks you make, how much automation, one incident will happen that will leave everybody confused that how they could have missed this basic like loophole through which the malware came in or through which the fraud happened. But at that time, please don't go crazy. Don't start blaming people, playing the blame game. Uh, going all like uh, accus accusing people uh, learn from this incident take it as a learning incident and never forget the human element of security incidents right so if the if somebody in the tomb is responsible no amount of blame game and finger pointing is going to resolve the incident so focus on the lessons learned and what training or tools are required to prevent it from happening again right okay that was number two the third uh, advice i would give you is specialize Specialize if you want to earn the big bucks. So unless you're at the CISO level, it is always better to specialize in a particular niche in cyber security. If you just have a generic information security manager title, nothing will make you stand out from the millions and millions of other information security managers that are there, right? Cyber security is a massive, massive field. So specialize in something like cloud security or AI risk or gen AI. They're all exciting areas to dive in, right? And the more you specialize, the more you will be perceived as a subject matter expert and the more your skills will be sought. If you're living in a comfort zone in cyber security and you're thinking I'll just do a cert every year, every year I'll just do a new cert and that is enough. That is going to lead to disaster in the long run that God forbid your job gets impacted or something. You will find out that the industry has left you behind. Okay. Okay. That was the third piece of advice. Uh, the fourth piece of advice is please do not get caught up in buzzwords and third party solution. You know, after spending some time in the industry, you will start recognizing this trend of like vendors and uh, publications. They push these latest buzzwords, right? 
like zero trust and shifting left cyber kill chain uh, like all these things these are all important by the way I, i'm not saying but please these are concepts that you have to apply these are not products you don't buy zero trust you don't buy shifting left okay you actually have to implement it as a process and then the tool comes in so do not get caught up in buying tool after tool and implementing them without investing in your teams because what will happen is you will have a huge amount of tools and nobody to implement them and nobody you will be just scrambling around and you will have wasted a considerable amount of money without getting any return on security investment so remember that no third party tool is equal to an experienced cyber security analyst you know somebody who knows the environment inside out okay that was four uh, number five is building your brand yeah, like build your brand outside your job so cyber security is an absolutely amazing field you know you have some great opportunities for self promotion for building your own brand but most people i see what the mistake they do is they share the like uh, odd post on linkedin like once a week they'll share a link post on linkedin and what do they share uh, i'm pleased to tell you i have passed the certification i'm pleased to tell you i am promoted blah blah honestly people will like it congratulate you and then forget about it share some valuable information if you're working in cloud security uh, share things about cloud security right so this will help you to build your brand and it's not just linkedin you can create course on udemy i've made many videos on that you can reach out and speak, speak at cyber security conferences you can write a cyber security book also all of those things i have done and they build your own brand and what happens is if you like for any chance lose your job your brand will always be with you right your brand does not go away it stays with you because you took the time so that was the fifth piece of advice and the last one which i want to tell you is giving back to the community and that's very very important after a few years that you have experience help newcomers who have come into the industry they often need mentors and coaches to guide them in their career choices and help them navigate the, you know this confusing world of cyber security mentorship programs are available or you don't have to do a mentorship program you can just like literally announce it on your linkedin or somewhere that i'm happy to help people out who need advice you will find out that after a while believe me after a while after spending x amount of years like me after spending two two decades in cyber security helping people get into cyber security will give you more job satisfaction more than any bonus or any promotion if somebody thanks you and because of you they've landed a good job uh, believe me that will give you more uh, job satisfaction compared to all of those things so these were the six pieces of advice i wanted to give you this is completely my opinion uh, if you feel this is completely wrong no worries at all this is just based on my own experience so i hope this was useful to you please do like and subscribe to this channel share this video if you found this useful thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video